Uh, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a video up there on the latest uh, version of the Solar Omega Street Lab. And this is the 2.0. The 2.0 has been launched in early uh, this year, 2016, but we do not do any uh, video during that time. I was quite busy because of the new product developments. Uh, a lot of the new product developments uh, was, was ready to launch, especially in 2016 that I mentioned in the previous video. Yeah? But uh, now it's already been six months in the market. Some of you already have used it, used the product for quite some time now. And of course, this, this video update is a bit late, but you know, better than better than none. Yeah. So the 2.0, the Omega Street Lab 2.0, uh, you have two versions: uh, the standard and the large. Uh, most of you are very familiar with the uh, 2.0. The standard version is because those uh, has been widely used. Yeah. For the large version, uh, some of you have used it, some of you are not. Because the large version basically is for uh, more for to over to the street light, uh, the light that you use for uh, the car road, uh, the normal road whereby the vehicle or car uh, pass through. But most of you are uh, use it for more for area lighting, for example, your compound lighting, like for example, like your parks, your parking lot, you know, your factory or your house, uh, that kind of lighting. Yeah. Um, for the 2.0, there basically there are many many upgrade or we call it an improvement yeah but i'm not gonna touch all of that i'm just gonna you know touch a few that improvement we think that is uh, very good and uh, you guys should know yeah the first thing you'll see that is the led chipset yeah uh, compared to the predecessor uh, they are using 200 320 over led but the 2.0 only use about 28 led yeah, the reason is because we are using a new LED chipset and each of them is higher than 150 lumen per watt and it can punch up uh, quite quite powerful yeah, uh, of, of light. Basically in this 28 uh, LED chipset, this guy able to give you more than 3000 lumen. The predecessor only about 2000 lumen, but this already improved more than 50% uh, come up with uh, 3000 lumen. Then second thing you'll see that uh, you will see this guy have a better lens and this guy is we call it the magnify magnify kind of lens where, whereby it enhance so that it can shoot further like uh, those who will reuse our product always know that we focus heavily on lenses uh, this, because this day if you tell me that you how good your LED is but without a good lens um, the light can't travel far so with a good lens uh, it will really really can you know, shoot very 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 far and especially you put on a six meter pole uh, you can travel down to the ground yeah so you do not want your light to be lost yeah or, or spread too widely and at the end uh, the light become useless yeah so you will see the very very powerful uh, magnify kind of lens uh, and install in this LED so that with the 3000 lumen power you uh, you know the brightness then uh, you can be very very effective yeah to light up your surrounding and give you a very high lux yeah um, kind of thing. and you can see the large version uh, with 60 LED chipset uh, punch up uh, more than 6005 lumen uh, because it's designed for 8 to 10 meter pole you need to be uh, stronger or brighter so that in order to you know perform at higher so also we also uh, include uh, different kind of lens this lens is we call it the uh, back wind kind of lens uh, you know the batman the kind of back back wind basically what this lens does is actually not is to magnify but to uh to wider so that you can see that the magnify area is on the left and uh the right so that you can give you a wider uh, kind of uh, lighting so by doing that, you can reduce the pole to pole. Uh, you know, when you cover longer or wider area or wider angle, you will have uh, less pole. So it's widely used for street uh, kind of uh, lighting, especially for you know, like I said, street light for, for car. Yeah, this is first improvement you will see uh, on the two point zero. And the second uh, first is the LED and the lights. 
The second you will see is uh, basically this guy is actually let's say those who already have the you know standard 1.0 compared to the standard 2.0 you will find out this guy is actually smaller yeah. smaller and uh, lighter the reason is because uh, we have a better cell now right now uh, today's the solar cell is much much efficient compared to you know the previously now we can make this guy smaller much much smaller yeah so uh, when it's smaller it's of course it's gonna be lighter uh, we also put in a lot of effort to make these two guys to be lighter the reason behind that is because we believe uh, if this street, all-in-one street light is very very heavy it's very very difficult to mount though we've already done uh, mounting or installation of uh, all-in-one street light you'll find out it's actually the weight and the size let's say it's a very, very big size it's very very hard to mount especially if you mount this by one person yeah imagine you take this guy go up to a sky lift and you're gonna do it alone yeah so let's say it's very heavy or very bulky you'll find out it's very 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 uh difficult to mount yeah so that's why the weight reduction uh, is very important we spend a lot of time uh, uh, on this guy on the weight reduction and uh, we're happy with it and we really throw away a lot of weight so that this guy is be much much lighter for uh, mounting yeah some of our customers especially using the standard one they don't even use sky lift to mount basically they just uh, you know you clamp on the pole uh, and then you know just bring it up and you know dig a hole and put the pole in and you know cement it and cover the stone that kind of thing uh, let's say it's lighter, uh, the moment is much much uh, less so that it's much easier for you to mount yeah? Weight reductions and size is the second improvement. And then the third improvement basically is on the lighting mode application. Yeah? Uh, this time around you will see that the switch is in here rather than the back and also we also change the switch, uh, the power switch or the selector whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that this one, this switch now, unable to uh, you know press with the hand uh, because is uh, we make it uh, not so big, not so small, so that uh, you can see it, but you can't really press it using your hand or you know, your finger, uh, that kind of thing. Is because so that uh, prevent you for longly press uh, our switch. Yeah? Buy yourself a pen, um, use the pen to you know press it. Yeah. So uh, it's easier. So by doing that, it's easier for you to press, and you won't wrongly press the guy. Yeah. Um, the the third improvement basically is on the like I said just now, the uh, lighting mode. Uh, the first one, if you have the first press, you'll find out this is the full and dim, the full power and dim. So this is the normal traditional way of the oil industry, right? Where whereby there is a person around. Uh, detected the motion, uh, it will be you know, the PR sensor detected the motion, uh, it will be go to full power. Then, let's say you do your business there, and then after that, uh, the, there's no people around, the sensor detected no people around, it will go back to the uh, deep mode to save energy. Yeah? So, the, the kind of straightforward kind of thing. If you press another time, this is the uh, constant mode. Basically, the constant mode is to have the same brightness to hold the knife, thus to dome the same brightness. This is because the customer, always some of the customer, uh, like the traditional kind of street light whereby they don't have full and dim, uh, so that yeah, that kind of thing. So we put in this mode for the customer because some of the customers still not ready to use that kind of intelligent, intelligent lighting whereby you have full and dim, but they just want the constant brightness dust to dome yeah, in your country so we call this as a, the second mode is the constant brightness or the economy mode basically when you press on it uh, it will be have the you know, constant uh, brightness from dust to dome yeah. the third one if you press one more time is we call it the hybrid mode the hybrid mode is a combination of uh, constant and full and dim how it does is actually the first for hour, it will be a constant mode, and then the remaining will be the full and dim. Uh, for example, let's say uh, you start getting dark at 7 p.m., the light will you know start to light up, 
in a constant mode for the first four hours in a constant brightness. Yeah. Then when it reach midnight after four hour, seven to after four hour in the midnight, it will have uh, in a, a full power and deep. Let's say after midnight, uh, less activity already, no one around, then the light will automatically switch to full and deep. When it detected that uh, there is an activity or person around, then it will have a full power. Then let's say no activity, the PR sensor detected no uh, people around, it will be uh, go back to the mode. By doing so, it will set energy. So basically, you have it, you have the treat mode, uh, that kind of uh, configuration. Yeah. So this is the three thing I'm um, going to show you. Uh, but of course, the 2.0 have a lot of improvement. Yeah, I'm not going to go through uh, all of it. Like for example, uh, we also improved the uh, battery compartment so that it's easier for you to change battery. Uh, we also uh, uh, improved on the uh, installation or changing of the LED uh, chipset, that kind of thing. Uh, basically, also improved the way, let's say you want to service the street light. Uh, it's going to be easier, not compared to previously. Uh, uh, this time, this around will be much much easier. Yeah. Do uh, if you if you're interested on the Omega Street Light the 2.0. Uh, if you have more question or any doubt, do drop us an email or give us a call. We are happy to you know uh, give you uh, more information about this this product uh, out there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, Right now, the Omega Prime uh, is at EP mode. Uh, what we want to do right now is actually is to wait for a car that come up from that uh, exit. Uh, it's quite far away. Let's see whether this guy, uh, you know, can detect uh, a car and then give a full power mode. Yeah. Um, so what we have to do right now is probably we just need to you know wait for a car uh, to come up. Yeah, here we go. Oops. Yep, the car just come out. It's already full power. The sensor is designed very uh, long range so that it can uh, you know, target a certain location and light up uh, you know, accordingly.